Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to get a free Azure SQL database for lifetime. Come, let's get started. So you log into the portal.azure.com and here I have logged in. All what you have to do is search for Azure SQL Server. And the moment you comes, click on SQL databases. So right now I do not have any database, any SQL server. So that's why it's empty. Probably it will be the same if you have it not configured or got anything earlier. All right. So let's create on. So let's click on this create SQL database. So for SQL database, you need SQL server as well. But see the moment you do it, there is a public preview. And here it shows that there is a free SQL database for everyone like one per subscription and it is 100,000 V core seconds free up to 32 gigabyte of data storage can be possible. Actually, it looks very big, but I'll tell you something. You can apply this offer and you can have the free SQL database. Okay, so I will talk about it a little bit more, but let's say I apply this. It's a preview, right? See the moment I do it's applied and let's go ahead and do a couple more information and I'll show you what how it looks. So I choose the subscription that I have and then I'm going to create uh, a separate e-commerce uh, resource group like it's basically a resource group and I'm going to club all of my you know resources uh, to this e-commerce application thing. So I will have one common resource group. So e-commerce RG. Okay, so I have this group. I'm creating it. You need to provide a database name. So smart card hub. This is what my database name. And like I said, right, database can run only under a database server. So we need to create a server because the way we came in is directly on a SQL database. If you want to create like a server first followed by the database, that's also possible. But right now we are trying to configure both in one shot. Okay, server. You need to choose a server because I do not have any server. I have to create a new server. Click on create and the server that you create as a name is unique and that belongs to this domain. Okay. The name will be your subdomain dot database dot windows dot net. Okay. So what we want is we need a server. So I'm creating a server. Everything looks good. All tick mark. So this name is available. So my server name is lsc smart card hub dot database dot windows dot net all right so i have the location selected and here you go the three options for the authentication method the first one will work out only with the resources services that is inside the azure you cannot do connect to this database outside the seek azure so because in our case we need to have the sql authentication also not just the sql authentication but sql authentication as well as the microsoft entra authentication basically microsoft azure ad is called entra all right so i'm going to choose the second option and here uh, it will force you to select who is the administrator of this sql server i click on set admin and because this is my login, I will have my own email ID and any users that I have created. All the users that I have created here is dumb users. Basically, they do not, uh, they, there is no such real users. Okay, I just created for, for a couple of demo purpose. So I'm going to choose myself here. See, this is my, my email ID. So I will choose and make myself as admin. So I'm admin. Let's say you are doing this from your company perspective. All of your company users might come there under the set admin depends on what login that you use. Okay. Let me know in the comment section if you are also tried out with the company's login. Okay. All right. So now we need to have a server admin login. So I'm going to say LSC admin and then I need to provide a password. I'm going to copy paste the password. Here you go. I'm going to change it later. Okay. And you know, note down this password because you need to have the password with you. So I'll say, okay, here we have set up the server. Okay. See the moment uh, this is set up, you see there's something coming up here and it basically says we are using this uh, first 32 GB free, first 100,000 seconds are free. Basically, if you calculate 100,000 seconds into hours, basically it comes to 28 hours, 27.7 hours. If you give two hours a day, you can easily, uh, you know, even one hours a day, you can easily go for a month. 
okay here you go what happens uh, if you cross this time right that is what always um, uh, always you have to think and one more important thing right this is serverless uh, which means uh, based on the compute only uh, it is built so now you see this estimated is zero everything is zero because right now the overall uh, the average billing is disabled average billing is disabled now this is what happens behavior when free offer limit reached the two options you have either pause the database which means you cannot access the database until the next month the release starts or you continue here to pay so the moment the free usage is done you continue to pay for your service but this is the demo and i also wanted to restrict my purchase uh, thing i'll go with this i will literally pause the database okay i'm going to do that but basically if you don't want any of these things okay all what you have to do is you have can change the database here so i'm not going to change the database here but this is what it is given free for me but if you click on configure database okay you can actually change the database here uh, right now it is not showing up because this is what uh, the bigger one which microsoft itself is giving us for free but uh, you can actually change it okay i will tell you something um, the the minimum the bare minimum for development purpose is 4.99 dollars per month roughly around 400 rupees in india uh, but not a big uh, price compared to what you study and use it uh, live in sql database okay so that five dollars uh, goes for uh, two gigabyte it's more than enough for all of the demo purpose and you know showing up your skills to to your employer uh, but anyway so i apply this i come here next is the networking okay so now i have created this database throughout my uh, many years and i have seen a drastic uh, changes in this uh, database creation here right what we see has improved a lot so they have a lot many options for you to choose now so in the network what they are showing is the connectivity method do you want this database to be connected from outside or no access in our case it has to be public access because i will connect you will connect whatever it is right but private endpoint will have an incur a separate cost it will have a dedicated uh, ip and all but we don't need to do it for our purpose but in a real time organization they might use a private endpoint anyway i'll choose the public and then here is the firewall rule the first one is let's say if any of the azure service wanted to access the database let's say function wants to access this database do you want this other resources to access this database i can say yes or i can say no when i say no i will probably go with sql authentication with username and password so it will still work if i don't have any of the username and password we can actually give permission to azure service any of the azure service to connect to this database so i can i can say yes or no depends on my use case but i will leave it as no for now okay because there is always a chance that you can go and change the firewall rule the second one if i say s yes, my current ip is captured and added automatically if you don't say s yes, when you try to connect from our local it won't connect so let me go with no and i'll show you how to do this later okay so here next is the connection policy i will go with the default one for the routing and then uh, this is the uh, tls version we have to go with the latest one which is 1.2 1.3 is in preview next one is the security see under security uh, we don't need to do any uh, defender for sql because uh, our data is not that important okay so the next is the windows defender for the windows defender uh, basically we can go with trial but for our purpose we don't need it uh, see the first 30 days is free after that you have to pay 15 dollars every month for every server okay we have just one diff server now but we don't need to use defender but in organization they will use it okay now there is a new concept called ledger uh, it says it's not configured so you need to click on this configure ledger so ledger database right see here there are two options one is uh, you can enable this for all the tables that you create under uh, this uh, database uh, or you can leave it but here's the thing uh, all right so the moment you choose this right we got all of these things enabled 
you can actually store uh, the digest information right uh, uh, either in your storage account or in a separate place okay so now uh, we don't need all of these things i'm going to disable it we actually don't need it for our purpose so i will just disable this and apply this this is configured now now server identity not enabled server identity basically see user system assigned new so server identity is basically any system identity or user identity you you being a user inside the system you can manage this we can click on here and we can actually switch it on and add who can access this database okay so that's what this configuration is but actually we don't need to do anything for now we just need a sql server and database but you should know what are these options now again the next thing is transparent data encryption key management under this there are two sections these are all new they were not there server level key anything that is coming inside this database is encrypted by a key okay that key you can configure here you can configure the service managed key which means microsoft will manage or customer managed key the moment you say customer managed key you should have the keys in your key vault and then you can auto rotate you can select a particular key which means even microsoft cannot decrypt your uh, data if you choose the customer managed key all right um, so that's what it is but we can go with the server managed key and then we're good here database level we can click on this you can again say server level encryption here so that the encryption is done at the server level not the database level okay again we don't want to manage any keys for now this is a simple database but it's good to know all of these things what it does but i'll go with the server level encryption i don't want to manage anything microsoft will take care of all of these things and then uh, the next thing is the additional uh, settings here you can uh, just go with none because sample will create a sample database uh, da tables we don't need to initialize anything under this database and then uh, we can go with the database uh, collation database collection is basically how the data are uh, stored and shorted this is some algorithm so i will go with the default one and then the maintenance window you need to choose any of this maintenance window basically in this maintenance window the server will undergo some maintenance whenever microsoft decides to do something the what happens is if if at all right at that point of time if if something is getting updated uh your server may not be reachable at that point of time but it should not be a big deal for us okay so tags you can just choose whatever tags you want e commerce i will say database for my thing let's go to create and it's very clear right the estimated storage is zero dollars everything is zero literally you get a free uh sql database so i'm gonna go create a database so it's getting deployed we will have few minutes to have the server and this database being created all right now the deployment is successful and we are on the sql server see under the sql server you can see the number of database that you created the database that we created is smart card hub all right so you can see the server name here you can see the the, the server admin name here and all of those details here so all what we are going to do is let's go inside this database and we will see how to get the connection string you can see the server name here and see the connection string here you can also see that after i created few hours later i started this video again which means out of 100000 seconds only 600 and change seconds has been used and then the database went to the pause mode automatically see this is what called serverless computing so if the database is not in operation it will be in the pause state which means you don't run out of your allowed free usage like a continuous servers which means as and when you use for the development purpose or for the point of uh, you know proof of concept purpose you can use these kind of free sql uh, database and here is what it is currently it's in pause state all we have to do is we can go here get the connection string for the various purpose okay so edu.net connection string will be here jdbc all this php go language in our case we wanted to now connect to this database from the ssms so all what you have to do is you see something called sql authentication so we going to copy this connection string okay because later in our e-commerce application 
we'll be using this database for our purpose okay so now what we have to do is let's open up the uh, the sql server management studio ssms and come and click on connect here connect database engine so here it will ask you the server name so from where we get the server name you see the server equal to so tcp so we will take this server name including the port copy paste it here here is the username password for the sql authentication okay so choose the sql authentication come here and you have to give the username and password username password is lse admin and password is something that i know and then password remember see the moment i connect okay it's connected because my ip is already added i'll show you in the firewall section where to add the ip okay so if i expand this there is nothing here because just the database is created there is no table created yet so now let's say i go to the database i go to the server actually so i go to the server okay so where do we set the firewall see firewall is set at the server level so you have to go to this sql server that we created and then come all the way through the networking under the networking you can see the firewall rule is set here okay so i can add that it is uh cartrix home and then the ip here okay so so i can come to the network and come all the way through the firewall rule and add a ip here or i can add a ip range anything that can i can do so at this range and all of those things right so right now the ip is added but if i delete and save it's getting saved now let's see what happens so i disconnect i try to connect to the same database which is here i will get something called that it's not allowed because by default sql server and database are protected you cannot access those outside the azure network in order for you to do it all what you have to do is you have to come and add the ip address so click on this add your client ip it's get added save it and then if you try again magically it connects so that's it right so now what we have to do is we have the database ready and uh, i have something called uh, you know you might have watched my e-commerce database design video so all what we are going to do is we are going to uh, run our tables into this database okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy all of my scripts open up this one a new connection so this database is connected i'm going to copy paste the script i'm going to literally run this so 17 tables followed by many records okay so let's run this so i'm going to first run the tables tables are done i can refresh here you can see all the tables created here nicely okay so after that we select all of these insert records scripts and run it we got records added see i can run the products and i can see data all right so this is what the video is all about so if you wanted to create a free Azure SQL database. This is what you have to do. Based on your usage, only it will be computed because now we just used for a couple more seconds. The database that was paused was automatically released. How you can find out? So you go inside this database and then the seconds that we saw, right? It will come down here. It will be recalculated. And um, you can also uh, set up some alerts that if the health of the system is good or not, you have so many things that you can do okay so the connection string can be taken from here or from the settings also all right i hope you enjoyed this video you have a good time to create a new sql database which is given free for first time so enjoy it and do let me know in the comment section how useful it was and i will see you in the next video for the e-commerce application thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials 
and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!